Riders ready, watch the gate. So this was a lovely pre-race, pre-practice, pre-everything interview that I did with Hannah Escott whilst the track walk was going on. Uh, but typically, because I'm an idiot, I forgot, made a schoolboy error and forgot to mic up correctly. You can see the mics are on us, they're on the camera, but I would forgot to uh, switch the camera on to uh, external mic mode, basically. So because of that, we've got no sound for this beautiful interview that I set up on the log. I've also done two interviews later on with Scott Beaumont uh, and Mophead uh, and Hannah as well. And again, they weren't mic'd up correctly. So... I'm kicking myself on that one, but basically, just to give you a bit of a rundown, um, Hannah's just given me some great top tips here. Hannah's been involved in British Four Cross for absolutely years. Uh, she's now one of the commentators. Her and Mophead are the commentators for British Four Cross, uh, and there's probably very few people in British Four Cross racing that are as uh, experienced and knowledgeable about racing as she is. Uh, so she was giving some great top tips, talking generally about how it works, joking what to expect with parts of the track, um, different speeds. She's raced here a number of times and things like that, and just generally some really, really useful insight. Um, so yeah, so unfortunately we didn't get that, so I thought I'd just do a little piece here because obviously I didn't have anything to stick in here. Uh, and after this, we go straight into practice. So yeah, let's go and check the uh, practice out. Hi Jake. I'll just line up for a bit of practice, so we're going into first practice, open practice. We rode the track the other day, so we're feeling all right. But you're getting race nervous. How do you feel? Or does it just feel like another race? Excited. You're excited. Yeah. Jake's excited. I'd feel so. I'm quite relaxed actually. I'm not feeling the nerves at all. You got any words of wisdom? Rimmers. All right, that's practice finished. That was absolute mega then. Did a couple of motos with Blake from GMBN. Came with a few tips and then uh, got absolutely smashed in that first corner. I did a few gates with some of the vets guys. They seem to be the guys I'm racing with, but I seem to be out gating them. But it's hard to tell, you don't know what they're doing. So, um, yeah, so like I say, practice is pretty ace. Went quite well. Uh, just fitness. There's that like bottom part of the section, bottom part for the track. I'm just gassing out, I don't know. If I've got the legs, come race day, race time though, it all changes. Um, not jumping the track anywhere near as much as I was in the week. Don't know if the track's running a bit slower, I'll just, just not feeling it. Um, but yeah, so it goes. All right, boys. You won it last year, so you're the guys to beat, yeah? Okay, riders, random start. Riders ready, watch the gate. That was about as uh, that, was awesome. that was about as tasty as I want to get really. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bit squirmish just before the table. <laughs> we're super happy with that, aren't we, Jake? Yeah. Motor yeah. one, two second places. Yeah. That was good that going. Was I actually had a really good gate. You had a you had a wicked gate. Uh, my snap was still terrible as well. Was it? Yeah. You just did you come down the steps? Yeah. That's wicked. So, but yeah, I had a wicked gate. I national number one. 
I think in the video you'll see I was actually ahead of him and I should have just been way more aggressive and just cut right across him. I think I was a bit polite, then he banged bars off me and I thought, oh, I don't fancy this. So, um, But then I did a nice move into the S-Bend, kept second and cold on to the finish. So yeah, round two coming up. Well done, boys. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Don't know whether it's just riding a little bit slower today in places. It seems to be riding faster in some places, doesn't it, Jake? Yeah. And slower in others. But come the other day, we're jumping this easy, jumping the triple easy, and I'm casing everything at the minute. I don't know whether I'm just a bit tired or what. You're finding it a bit slow at the minute, aren't you, Jake? Yeah, the top's actually a bit more fast, but yeah, when we get down to this bottom section, it definitely is slower. Definitely. Thank you, Rose. Rider is ready, watch the gate. <laughs> lost all my energy that windy, <sighs> on the gate it was wasn't it proper windy right motos oh, it's be a, motos have gone to plan seconds all the way through i just can't get going i can't today i'm actually knackered just can't seem to find any energy but now we've got semi-finals i think i've got third pick jake's in semi-finals he's got first pick so he's having a storming day so yeah let's hope uh we can uh do something in the semi-final, maybe back in a final. Don't think it's going to happen, but let's uh, see if there's time to be positive. That's all we can do. Okay, riders, random start. Riders ready, watch the gate. <laughs> 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 Yes, you fucker! Woo! Sorry, Matt. I had to squeeze you on the gate because I knew you were going to come down after me. It was tactical. Yes. I thought I could hear you breathing down my neck. I was happy with that, mate. I was well happy with that. Fucking A final, first national. Four cross, I'll take that all the way to the bank. Do you get through? Double A finals? Oh, yes, bro. Woo! Oh, oh, 
Got a bit tasty. <laughs> These boys, though, hats off to them. They're absolutely rapid. Richard, Paul, and John, they're seasoned pros. Paul's got some immense track speed. And they're kind of, I think, a little bit more used. Racing BMX and other disciplines, it probably takes you a few races to get used to the guys. You understand what they're going to do in, in corners and what sort of moves they might make. Um, but they are rapid. I definitely, definitely had the snap on them. I think oh, my gates were stronger than them all weekend. Um, and I should have capitalised on that more. I had fourth pick in the final. That's why I was in gate four, stuck out there on the outside. Just got the gate that was given to me. But I definitely had the snap. Uh, and you hear the commentators say as I come down the hill, um, you know, I, I had me a mega snap. And I think by the time the bottom got the bottom of the hill, I was probably ahead. And what I should have done is got over, uh, at least pushed the lad next to me and possibly the one in gate two as well. I think it was John that was next to me. I think Richard was in gate two. I think Paul had gone for gate one. Um, it had been a bit of a stretch to get all the way over and sort of cut them all off and go down the steps. Uh, probably not a possible move to have, but I can definitely have set myself up into that first corner. I also 100% backed out going into the table. Uh, my friend Tom Haslam, he summed it up beautifully. He said, you had the snap and then you papped it. And that was exactly what I did. I out-snapped them all. I didn't expect to be there. I thought they were all going to snap. Like in a BMX race, you get to the final and all of a sudden those guys find an extra 10%. And I was expecting to have the snap and, all, and, and be behind them. When I found myself marginally ahead, all of a sudden, uh, I, I forgot what to do. I didn't move over. I wasn't aggressive enough going into the table. Uh, it stuck me on the inside. I had to back out. That gap, as I, was, as I went over the table, I knew that S-bend, that window, that doorway I had was only ever going to get shut in front of me. Um, so I just slotted in behind them. And like I say... Learning all the time. It'll only take me a few of these races to learn, uh, and we'll definitely do better. But, uh, yeah, what a final. Absolutely stoked to make the final. Uh, and now we go into day two, round two, and see if we do it all again. morning day two um feeling it this morning got a good night's sleep uh but the wind has picked up definitely feeling on the track just done a little bit of practice gate practice for the uh, youngers is on at the minute uh, it was a really good day yesterday stuck up the podium it got into an a final really happy with that jake took the win unbelievably good from jake um and morgan did really well too yeah so uh we're all sort of back here again just watch sat in the, the gazebo watching a bit of practice unfold um yeah so I suppose we get warmed up. I'm gonna do a few gates uh, and then I'm going for my pre-race poo. Mm. So yeah, got some good gates done then, and this nice cheeky little move on Chance Walters in the S-Bone when I uh, picked his pocket going into the uh, into the left-hand turn, uh, which was nice. We move on to the first moto. So today uh, we've had a few guys drop out on the round two on the second day. A few guys injured and crashed on day one, uh, and they didn't make day two. So this means we're going straight to an A final. So there's going to be no knockout rounds in this. It's three motos, and the fastest four go straight through to the A final. So the worst is really cut out today. Oh, fuck.
So a bit of a messy lap, definitely feeling a bit sluggish on the, the morning of day two. But crucially, though, I got that second spot. So what I need to do is it's gates of four. I need to be getting top two on each moto realistically to guarantee myself that place in the final. <sighs> 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 So as I push up the start hill here to my second moto, I realise that this moto is an exact carbon copy of yesterday's A final. All four of us that are in this moto are in the A final. That's going to make things really tricky because I've got to get that top two spot. And these were the fastest four guys. We were the fastest four guys on day one. So getting into that top two is going to be really, really tricky. I absolutely need to try and get third at very least. Um, and I've got, I think, gate pick one one I think in this one so I am on the inside but those guys are rapid so I've got to get the job done okay riders random start riders ready watch the gate So I came third. That's okay. It's doable. I think if I came fourth, I'm going to be definitely out of contention. Um, what makes it really tricky now, though, as I go into this third moto, and I don't think, think if you can see it, there's a missing person on the gate in the third moto. So uh, I think after the first moto, uh, Sooty, he dropped out. That means that I think John, who would have been behind me at this point, he had um, the... He then had a guaranteed third place in that, which obviously made it a little bit easier for him. So it obviously it made it a little bit more tricky because it meant the other guys in the other race had one less rider. So there's a guaranteed third uh, and you only got to sort of then beat one guy to get that second spot. So it did get really tricky. I think I needed to get at least second in this one um, to sort of guarantee myself in the final. Okay, riders, random start. Riders ready, watch the gate. Then, so managed to make the drop fucking in a final again second day in a row really hard work today because uh, there was no moto no, no, no semi-finals today so it was a straight drop straight to finals um, which i always think is a little bit harder i always fancy uh, a, a semi because it just gives you a shot you haven't got to when you've got to drop you've got to, every single one of those motos you've got to make count where if like sometimes you drop into semis you can sort of rest a little bit and then really push for the semi but i'm in third pick and it's an exact copy of yesterday's final, so let's have it. Riders ready, watch the gate.
So what a race that was. Day two, A final. Definitely gave it a bit more of a shot out the gate. I did actually have a game plan. So I had third pick in the A final this time. So I actually managed to have, I could pick gate three or four. So I went for gate three. I think gate two and three are probably the best two gates on here because you can probably, you've got a couple of options. You can go down the steps if you get a good gate or you can always hit the eject button and go down the uh, berm. I my game plan I thought I could have played it safe and I thought at least guaranteed third I actually do what John does here in a minute um, and I could have sort of like come out the gate blocked John off in gate eight in gate four gone into the berms instead of the steps and slingshotted myself across the table on the right hand side then and possibly gone up the inside of Richard it was always going to be a really really tough one to try and beat Paul today, his speed this weekend was just phenomenal, absolutely rapid rider, all three of these other riders are absolutely rapid um, I was really chuffed with how I performed in this final actually yesterday I was like was a little bit lucky with the semis and stuff to deserve to be there today going to this final I knew that I belonged to be with with these guys and I, I definitely deserve to be there um but yeah as I come out the gate I thought I could play it safe go right go around the berm again block block uh, John off point probably definitely slip into third maybe slip into that second spot and have a race then um or I could go left and have a go at it and I decided to do that I thought you know what second place third place it might as well be fourth or fifth sometimes it would be nice to be in a couple more steps on the podium in hindsight but in reality I just thought, yeah, I'm going to go for it. So I went for gate three, got a hell of a snap, did get a snap, managed to get across Richard, blocked him off. He said he kind of he knew it was coming. He actually said beforehand, I can see what's going to happen here. I can see me getting sandwiched. You boys have got an excellent gate. You're going to come across, and I'm just going to be in a in a, a Paul and McCoy sandwich. I think he, yeah, he kind of knew, and that's exactly what happened. Fair play to the lad, though. He stayed in it. When we went down the steps, he was right on the left-hand side of me. I actually cocked up. I uh, changed down twice on the gear so I went two gears down as I hit the steps uh, and I missed like a bit of a, a revolution on the pedals Richard then came back at me going into the table uh, and then just did a wicked move Richard did got a drift on back wheel kicked out he held it got his foot down dabbed John though went up the inside absolutely that's it Paul though he'd got out in front and then Rich and John were just on for a race for second, which was an epic race. Uh, Rich held him all the way down um, straight on his back wheel and then decided to go around the outside burn, which gave him a little bit more speed. And he picked up the inside going into the left-hander. John probably probably kicking himself, really. Probably should have thought he could have defended a bit better there. But that's racing. Um, I was really, really chuffed with that. I gave it a go. It was knowing that i come out that gate and at one point I was in second place. Um... I know I've, I've, you know, I'm in this now. Yeah, I'm pretty confident going into the next rounds. Definitely feel like uh, I'm going to be able to take the race to these boys. And if they're listening to this, it's uh, it's coming, lads. It's definitely coming. Uh, I'm just learning. I'm learning, figuring it all out, figuring all this four cross stuff out. It's very similar to BMX racing. Um, it's very similar to downhill racing with some of the sort of loose terrain and stuff. Uh, and I'm putting it all together and I'm working it out. So, uh, yeah, really enjoyed this weekend. Massive thanks to Scott Beaumont and the family uh, for putting on this. Uh, definitely standing on uh, huge shoulders taking this on from Chris Roberts uh, legends in the game and uh, yeah can't wait for round two Avan let's do it